We are really excited about today's recipe because it's one of our favourites because it's one of those recipes that you can just literally put in a baking tray, pop in the oven, wait, go and do a workout and come back and eat it. So today it's um, mango chutney chicken with caramelised winter vegetables. It is really, really, really tasty and very, very easy. Anyone could make it. So today we've got leeks, delicious leeks. Do you want to get yeah. chopping? Yeah. Let's so I think like two centimetre chunks. Okay, Brilliant. perfect. We've got um, onion, we've got red onions. Um, we have got sweet potato. Look at that. Beauty. It looks almost like a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, we've got a red pepper. Um, we've got a load of um, nice new potatoes that uh, we found at the bottom. Um, veg, the, the veg thing in the fridge. Uh, some lemons, butternut squash, and we've got some chilies and garlic. What we're going to do with this recipe as well is we're going to add a tin of chickpeas. Um, just to bulk out the recipe, mm -hmm. uh, I find that, um, well, we're particularly hungry today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, I, with, with my kids, they just, they're just hungry all the time. So um, I, I just actually quite often add a tin of chickpeas or beans or something mm -hmm. to, to soups and to just bulk out. Yeah. What's great about the chickpeas? Well, chickpeas are also great and things like beans and lentils, pulses, that sort of thing, um, are really great because they've, they're quite high in fibre and they've also got a source of protein as well. Yeah. Um, and protein and fibre are things that help keep you satisfied and keep you going for longer, so yeah. they're really good. And of course, fibre, as we all know, is great for your gut health as well, so added bonus there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are going to basically chop up these vegetables, nice and chunky, don't have to be particularly precious about them. And then on top, we're going to um, put this, these chicken thighs. So these are bone-in chicken thighs with their skins that I've just coated with um, with mango chutney. But uh, it's the type of mango chutney that's got lumps in it as well. So try and yeah. get the lump in the mango chutney because then the lumps of mango go really caramelised as well in the oven. Delicious. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that as well. I've got the garlic here. I'm not going to peel it or anything. I'm just going to shove it straight in. in. Yeah. Yeah. This recipe is also really good for the winter. Um, so in the winter, we all seem to get lots of bugs. There's lots of bugs flying around, um, lots of sickness, lots of time off work. Um, but a great way to help your immune system um, is actually by eating lots of prebiotic foods. So um, prebiotic foods help your gut bacteria and 70% of our immune system actually lives in our gut. So it's really important to eat lots of these prebiotic foods. And um, things like leeks, onions, garlic are all really important prebiotic foods um, and just fibre in general. So this is a really good recipe for that. So we're going to chuck, chuck it all in. Yes. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the colour. I think this is about 10 of your five a day by the looks yeah, of things. Really nice. <laughs> then we're going to slot in these little bits of lemon. Oh, so you just put them in. Okay. Do you take yeah. them out at the end or? I think they just look really pretty. Yeah, in the, just don't eat them. <laughs> in the dish, yeah. <laughs> uh, you might not want to eat them though. <laughs> and then um, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Lovely. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of cumin, I'd say a tablespoon. Okay. Um, we've got some mixed herbs. Okay. Um, fancy doing a salt and pepper? Yeah. <laughs> do that. And a red chilli. We forgot the chilli. Lay that over the top. And the juices from the chicken will go down into the vegetables and make them really extra yummy. Yeah. It's like if you're doing a roast and you cook the roast potatoes in the meat juices. Yeah. Brilliant. It's ready to go. See, so, how long does that take? <laughs> Magic. I'm going to put that We're off the for oven. a workout. We're off for a workout and we get changed. <laughs> We've got 30 to 40 minutes, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, at about 190 degrees. Okay, we're just back for our workout and we've just got the tray bake out of the oven. So, before you eat it, so we're just going to do a couple of um, little extras to make it extra tasty. Okay. Just gonna, oh, it looks really nice, doesn't it? it smells delicious. It smells amazing. Scatter it with a little bit of coriander and it's a winter bake, so it's all with these winter vegetables. Yeah. And one of the really, really good winter fruits is pomegranates. Oh, yeah. yeah, pomegranates. Did you know that? Tuck in. Yeah, tuck in. <laughs> 